Hey howdy hey partners, today we have the Hyper Series Cyclops and Pods. Let's get into it. I am Socks, your personal companion robot, and I regret having joined you. You're watching Today I Grew Up, Lightyear Edition. Enjoy the review. You can also click the card here in the corner of your screen, and that'll take you to all the Lightyear toy reviews that I'm reviewing on this channel. So here it is, we have the Hyper Speed Series this time with the Cyclops and Pods. These are really cool. I really like them so much that I had to buy two sets. One to, I'm going to open all of them, but it was cool to kind of army build a little bit. And they come in these really, really cool pods. The packaging itself is pretty cool. It goes in line with all the Hyperspeed series. This is definitely the smaller scale of the Lightyear line for the toys. And also in the series is the different ships for Buzz. And I also have the Zerg ship as well, which is cool. So you drop the pod and the pod opens and it reveals a little Zyclops figure, which is pretty cool. We'll start with the mini Zyclops figure. He's pretty cool. Uh, you can barely tell that he has a smidge of red there where the eye would be for the light. There's very little detail in this because I guess it's too small so they can't really do much with it. Although it would have been cool if they did. The arms do rotate 360 at least. We have that. We also have the legs that go forward and back. No knee joint articulation. Bottom has the peg holes to put it into the pod. Other than that, it's a very simple. No waist articulation, nothing here moving. But it's pretty cool. It gives the effect of a Zyclops uh, figure, so I'm not complaining too much for the size. This is gonna be uh, less than two inches tall, but it's pretty cool, and let's look at the pods. So for the pods, you get a battle damaged looking version as well as a clean version. I noticed that on the battle damage ones, there's no trigger button. Uh, it's just a manual open. And basically what you do there is you take your Zyclops figure and it goes in the peg holes there. Then you have the Zyclops in the pod and you can display it like this or you can have it like this or you can close it up. I noticed the pods don't really stand like this too well. It stands really well this way. So I'm thinking maybe that's the way you're supposed to display them closed. I'm not sure. But yeah, so it's cool to have two battle damage versions. Uh, that's why I got two sets. So I have two battle damage ones. So I noticed the non uh, battle damage uh, pod has a trigger button at the top. And what that does is if you drop it straight down, there you go. The feature is activated and it's really cool. It breaks open and there's the Zyclops figure. Okay, let's try the other one. Yeah, so that opens really cool too. So I don't know why Mattel did this and they didn't do it for the battle damage ones. Uh, we only get the trigger button for these. So it's kind of cool that I bought two because now I have two of them that drop and open at the same time. These have to be manually opened, which I don't like. I think they all should have been with the trigger button in my personal opinion. Zyclops pods deployed. So it's cool. Sometimes they don't open all the way. Uh, I noticed you kind of have to do trial and error here, but it's a really cool gimmick and I really like that that Mattel gave us something that was a fun feature. I just wish that the other ones had that trigger, but for now we can just open it up this way and it's still a cool display, whatever you want to do with your pods. I think it's pretty cool. They all open up this way, the same, and it's like a little army build, which is pretty fun. I like getting four of them because it looks like an army build and I guess if you want to go crazy and buy more you can and build a huge army of the hyperspeed series but I think four is enough for me I think it's cool and it's just nice to see what you can do with them here's a size comparison between my hyperspeed series zerg zyclops and my xl15 buzz pretty cool they're super tiny uh, but they're pretty fun to collect and I think they're really awesome and they all scale well together and there you have it a closer look at the new hyperspeed series Zyclops with pods. I think they're super cool. I definitely recommend buying two sets because it's fun to have the trigger button to drop them and they pop open. I think that's really a fun gimmick and it's something that is really fun to army build as well. So if you want to army build, I recommend buying multiple sets if you can. I think it'll look really cool with the rest of your Hyperspeed series line. My main focus for this line is mainly Buzz and Zerg. I'm, I don't know if I'm going to collect all the ships because it's just so many. I'm pretty much going to collect my favorites. So far, 
These are my favorite of the Hyperspeed series, the ones that I like the most to add to my personal collection. Let me know in the comment section below, what do you think of this Hyperspeed series? Are you going to collect more of these? Do you think they're fun? I think they're pretty awesome myself. As always, partners, thank you so much for liking and commenting these videos. It really helps support this channel as we move to the next level on this journey. If you want to help support me, all you have to do is hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you're later for future videos on this channel, and I'll see you partners on the next video review. You want the real buzz like you? You're a, uh, you're an action figure. You are a sad, 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 strange little man. You are a sad, 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 strange little man. You are a child plaything. Hey, Ham, look, I'm Picasso. I don't get it.